So I thought some of you may be interested to know why I would take a brand new plug like this and on purpose, smack it. The important thing to remember, Jim, we always have what is called the element of surprise. Ah! Ah! There's a reason for that. These plugs are new from the store and I checked them and they were new about 040. I checked online and the gap's supposed to be about 028. So what I do is I smack it on the head to bring the probe closer to the electrode. And then you can start where the electrode's low and keep working the spacer up until it gets to where it's supposed to be. Like that. And now that's properly gapped. When this came from the store, because I bought it in a big kit, tune-up kit, it was actually the same gap as the worn plug. So replacing the plug wouldn't have done much other than clean up the tip because the gap was the same. So fresh plug, knock the tip down, set the gap correctly, and now the plug's gonna work. That's why you would smash a brand new plug. Look, these plugs on this car are actually original. That's, this car is so original, the plugs are even original. Great selling point, huh? So I'm doing plugs on the Cabrio. I dropped my gap tool down in here. But then I heard this. Nice snap on wrench for free.